Hey Capricorn, this is your sacred scribe here ready to do your Monday, November 2nd to the 3rd Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Capricorn, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates with you and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload a video or go live. I also have a full moon video out for the blue moon that happened yesterday um, in Taurus, if you are interested. Uh, that is a pick a plant reading. So pick a plant and you'll see how the full moon will affect you for the next six months. All right, Cappies, I'm going to get some cards here and then a channeled message for you from Spirit here. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The Magician. The Six of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. And the Two of Pentacles. All right. Let's see what's up for you, Cappies. They're saying negotiate with yourself, and I'm not sure what you would be negotiating about. Okay, there's stop trying to talk yourself out of something. They're saying negotiate with yourself. I don't know. I, 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 maybe that makes sense to you. Satisfy this urge to act, Capricorn, they're saying. There's something that you want to do. And this is that negotiation that they're talking about. Okay. They're saying whether you like it or not, there will be action. I'm not sure what that means because sometimes... Wait a minute. Okay. Sometimes when we don't take action or we refuse to, you know, listen to our intuition, ignore our intuition, then what happens is the tower comes in. It's the universe's way of saying, if you're not going to move, we're going to move you for you. And they do. Trust me, they do. So the tower comes in, flattens everything in your world out. It's always a good thing though, because you know, the only place from there is up, right? So that's the good news. And whatever you're rebuilding is always more substantial than what was previously there, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, Capricorn, get to those negotiations. All right, you don't have to. There's free will. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. What is it that you're looking to manifest? I feel like, okay, this is that, I don't know what it is you're thinking about. It could be you're making some sort of decision, but you're waiting. Or I don't know if you're waiting for a decision or you're waiting on yourself to make this decision. I feel like it's more you Hmm. You're wanting to manifest something here. It could be wanting to manifest a Libra, wanting to manifest some sort of balance within a relationship. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Capricorn? The Page of Wands. The Page of Cups and the Chariots. Yeah, see, there's that movement. 
that you're desiring Capricorn okay it could it could have to do with a love offer right we have two pages here a message a love offer forward movement in something what's your expectation of this what is Capricorn's the end of a cycle beginning of a new one so there's a there's something new that you want to start here it could be a relationship what do you want to manifest yeah you're still not sure you're still working that out what it is that you want to manifest clarify this justice again we have libra here you could be dealing with a libra you could be dealing with the justice system three of pentacles you're wanting to build something you're wanting you're wanting balance it could be balance in relationships right clarify this justice again you're wanting happiness yeah marriage fulfillment um this okay wait a minute abundance as well so then why are what are you waiting for you're waiting to take that leap of faith here's that action aries energy what is your decision what's holding you up with the two of pentacles what is holding capricorn up transformation so you could be working well you are you're working on yourself capricorn you're transforming right you're healing that's a good thing what is your wish yep this is your wish soulmate twin flame energy there's you want a relationship you want this soulmate twin flame energy um between you and this other person now this could just be an idea right doesn't necessarily have to be a specific person just could be an idea who is this person is there anybody specific eight of pentacles somebody at work Okay, this could be a reunion with the judgment, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be a soulmate from a past life. It's this Queen of Wands that was at the bottom of the deck. So this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This may be somebody at work or that you've worked with, right? Very magical individual, a very good looking, confident uh, go-getter. Always goes after their dreams and gets what they want. And they could be into the magical arts here. The mistress of the deck very sexual knight of cups yeah there's that offer <laughs> that's teddy snoring ten of cups you want your ten of cups and your ten of pentacles okay and you can get it okay but it, it, like spirit said in the beginning action needs to be taken now what action that is i feel is up to you but there's a decision some sort of it's like you're at a fork in the road right you you've got to take it <laughs> right um you've got to choose the that fork in the road which road you want to go down because spirit's not going to allow you to stay stuck there they're going to move you or, or or sort of i don't want to say force but they're going to push you in one direction um if you don't choose so that's going to be up to you how does this queen of wands feel about capricorn let's see how this queen feels about you Ooh, they want a new beginning a new passionate beginning they feel very passionate very sexual towards you very fiery two of swords they don't see you there though it's because you haven't taken action so they don't see you they're a little bit defensive when it comes to love right now the moon they're hiding their feelings for you capricorn because you're just you're not there yeah somebody could have ghosted somebody left them out in the cold okay if this is a past i am feeling it's it's somebody from the past so ace of pentacles i feel like they may be focusing on their money but they're also waiting for an opportunity what opportunity the devil there you are you're always showing up and two of wands here the opportunity to choose they're not see they're in the same spot capricorn which path so somebody's got to make a move here all right or the universe is gonna it's either you the queen of wands or the universe you choose 
at the bottom of the deck. Oh, wait a minute. Let me get some advice for Capricorn. Knight of Wands. That's action. That's rushing in. All right. Uh, it can be player energy, but I'm feeling more take action. That's what they said in the beginning. Three of Wands. Okay. Know that your ships are coming in. Know that what you want is, what you seek is seeking you, right? So heal. Be patient with yourself, right? During this transformation, look within with the Hermit card here, Virgo energy. Five of Cups. Focus on the Two of Cups here, okay? And King of Pentacles. Focus on the two of cups that are in the background here and also focus on what you want to create the king of pentacles is all about creation right what is it that you want to create tangibly focus on that because sometimes overthinking is just a bad thing right and it, and it can prevent you from moving forward it could you know render you stuck temperance sagittarius energy healing right embracing this change you have an angel here, Uriel, I just heard, okay? So Uriel is here. You are the alchemist. And look at this under, underneath, the Wheel of Fortune, destiny. But when time's up, I told you, I, I'm just the messenger, Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, I hope this resonated with you. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. And also comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. And check out that full moon video I posted yesterday to see how this full moon in Taurus will affect you for the next six months. You have yourself a fantastic day, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are, Capricorn, in the world. I will catch you tomorrow on the flip side on the Daily Reads. Namaste.